My name is Lazina Stevens Bell. I'm the place is called Nubian Queen Lola's Cajun Soul Food Kitchen. Actually, it, I opened up as Queen Lola, and then some robbers came in. Three guys came to rob me, and they the ones who put the Nubian in front of Queen Lola. I, I, I talked with them and talked with them, and they was trying to get the money, and I'm trying to tell them, let, letting them know, no way, you're getting my $40. And then something, a voice, which was God's voice, said, Lo, Lozina, hush, and listen to the men talk. So I went to listen to them talk, and they sound, I used to be an officer in the prison, so they went to sounding like they talk in prison. And I went to saying, wait a minute, hold on. All of y'all done been to prison. I said, and I don't know if y'all know, I said, but I, it may not mean nothing, but I'm an ex-prison officer. I said, and an and a owner of a restaurant. I said, man, y'all kill me. You're going to be in a world of trouble. You know, and so I kind of talked to him, and we went to talking back and forth, and I just had to really kind of pick him out, you know, and when I realized, and then something told me, you know, to look at the way the set, the way they came in. And I realized, you know, the, the one that was supposed to be the real bad, bad one, he came in, you know, like he bad. And the one that was kind of pushing it, he was kind of like in the middle. And I realized that the weakest one was on the end, so I started dealing with the bad man. And I just went to speaking life to him, letting him know, man, this is not, you, you're not a follower. You're a leader. You don't have to do what this man say do. You know, and I just went to talking to him like that. And next thing I don't know, out of, you know, conversation, I don't know how long this lasts. To me, it seemed like forever. But before I knew it, they all three started laughing. Hard, hard, hard. I mean, uncontrollably. And they laugh, and what I got out of it, they said that they were sent to see if I can handle the neighborhood. Yeah, and they said that I should put Nubian in the front of Lola. They said they really wasn't coming to rob me. Yeah, I mean, and that's where Nubian came from. Yeah, and, I put, and they told me they were coming back the next day, and when they came back the next day, they wanted to see Nubian up, up before my name. So I couldn't get up on high and put Nubian up there, so I told my daughter when she came home from school, I said, baby, please hurry up, you got to write Nubian on the door because the robbers, they're coming back today and they want to see Nubian. And sure enough, my daughter did it. And we had Nubian Queen Lola, and that's where it came from. At home, I'm considered a Geechee. And this is the lifestyle that I know. This is the food that we eat, and this is the culture that I live. You know what I mean? I try to make the restaurant what I can remember. It shouldn't be fancy. It shouldn't be all that. It should just be real homey feeling. Back home, we write on the walls. You know, I mean, we eat with our hand. You know, I mean, it's nothing fancy about what we do at all, period. But everything is nice and pretty. And that's and clean, and that's what it's really all about. I run the whole restaurant by myself. It's not only a restaurant. It's also a ministry. It's a ministry that goes out and feeds over 350 kids, people, young and old, rich or poor, homeless. It doesn't matter. If it's a life out there that need to eat and drink some water, some good sweet Kool-Aid, I'm that bus that roll around town and make that happen. Every dime I make out of this restaurant go towards the feeding the people and the kids. And the rest of the things, God take care of me. Because he said, if I take care of them, he'll take care of me. It's not so much that they poor, but you see, we got to remember, you could be poor in thoughts, you could be poor in the knowledge of Christ. You could be poor in just a brokenness. It's many forms of poorness. And if God said, go out and take care of the poor, I got to do what he say. That's from my husband in prison. And he been sitting there for the last seven years. He have a life sentence. He been down there for about almost 27 years. And I pray and hope and pray and hope and doing like a bear, writing a vision. God sent him home. That's a vision. And that's where that stuff come from, from prison. It's donated to me to help me pay the bills and take care of what I have to take care of for the homeless. My name is Lazina Stevens Bell, a Nubian queen, Lola's Cajun Soul Food Kitchen.